What is going on, everyone? It was day seven of Houston Texans training camp, day three of practice being available to the public. If you were in attendance today, let me know in the comments down below because the weather was absolutely horrible. The rain started around five o'clock and it didn't end until the end of practice. If you were there today, you left 100% soaked. But man, you are a diehard Houston Texans fan and you deserve to see this team win a Super Bowl. But like our head coach, Domenico Rines, told the young guys, we are not waiting for you and whether we are not waiting for you either. We have Super Bowl aspirations like our organization. But ladies and gentlemen, one thing to note, CJ Stroud being more vocal, more animated on the sideline, kind of forming into the leader, but not only of this offense, but of this entire team and organization. We are seeing CJ Stroud grow before our eyes. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. My name is Ruben Calvillo, and this is the 713 Houston Sportcast, where I drop daily Houston Texans content. So make sure you guys are following me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for the latest news, rumors, and updates. And guys, do me a favor. Have a real blessed rest of your day. Now, the offense today for the Houston Texans in all phases, right, first, second, and third team, were not good. It was sloppy. It was up and down. And when you look at the starting offense, there was a lot of problems out there. Some pre-snap penalties, um, the offensive line just completely being blown up in the run game. Daniel Hunter and Will Anderson Jr. just absolutely wrecked the offense's game plan today. It gets me excited for this defense, but for this offense, they've had a rough couple of days. Now, of course, you have to throw in the weather as a factor, and we also know that during the start of training camp, the defense normally has the upper hand. But ladies and gentlemen, what I like to see was C.J. Stroud yelling at his teammates, getting them together, and letting him know that what they are doing right now isn't supposed to happen. CJ Stroud wants everything perfected. Like Bobby Slowick said, he never makes the same mistake twice. He saw frustration out of CJ Stroud. Today. I mean, this is a dude that I still think he's 21, 22 years old. And he has the attention of dudes who are 27, 28 in their 30s. With that being said, I love to see this and the crowd love to see it as well. No one saw it as like, oh, CJ Stroud is dogging his teammates. We're like, no, he He's is getting his here. soldiers fit and ready to go. I absolutely love this. Another big point. The Houston Texans secondary might have two starting rookies. Now, this was pointed out to me bar harley he was also in attendance with me there today shout out to him at the lead underscore houston he noticed that jalen petrie for what seemed like the entire practice today was working with our passing game coordinator and he is in charge of the slot cornerbacks right there was desmond king with jalen petrie there was chris bryant the safeties that ran out there in Team 1 <laughs> reps were Kalen Bullock and Jimmy Ward. Your cornerbacks out there were Derek Stingley, Kamari Lasseter, and Jalen Petrie. Kamari Lasseter is a dog, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to keep our eyes out on him as an early, impactful rookie. The only thing about him is he can't catch. However... He made me eat my words today as he got an interception in the end zone while he was covering Nico Collins. The ball was thrown by C.J. Stroud. But those were two big points for me today. C.J. Stroud becoming a leader. The offense wasn't working today. The defense had the upper hand. He, you know, kind of let his emotions show on the sideline, but not in a way where you felt like he was just dogging the team, but it was like, we need to get this right together, and it needs to happen soon. Now we're going to get to my favorite part. We go to the credential media members page. Cody Stews, Aaron Wilson, Landry Locker. They are Jonathan Alexander, uh, Chancellor Johnson. They all do a fantastic job covering this team, and we're going to go and continue with them. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start with Jonathan M. Alexander. Does a fantastic job covering this Houston Texans team for the Chronicle. Put some one-on-ones up there. 
Derek Stingley gets deflection against Johnny Johnson. One more time. It seems like Derek Stingley is making a play every single day. And I talked about this two days ago. I think we might see an on-pro season from Derek Stingley if, and that's a big if, he stays healthy as he has yet to play a full NFL season. But look, guys, 11 games last year, five INTs was locking down the number one guy towards the end of the season, was following him in the playoffs. I cannot wait for 2024 Derek Stingley. Now, this one we have John Mechie had Ford in a blender on this move. Oh, my God. Run that back. Guys, that's embarrassing. John Mechie might have an emergence. And John Crumpler, shout out to him. He put out, in my opinion, a hot take. Right? He thinks John Mechie is going to show the Houston Texans this, you know, something this year that is going to make the transition away from Stephon Diggs much easier because of what John Mechie showed you. Now, Listen, when I saw him in the red zone today, of course, look, it was in the rain. However, that favors the defense. John Mechie was absolutely destroying dudes in the red zone. I mean, I'm talking about one to two to three yards of separation as soon as he did his break. John Mechie was eating today. And look, I'm going to put my what I want to see from John Mechie this year. If he can give me 300 yards. If he can give me three, four touchdowns, that is a solid year for John Manchi, who two years ago was dealing with cancer. But, man, just absolutely routed Ford up. Shout out to John Manchi. He's been having himself a very strong training camp. Uh, then he has day seven of Texans training camp practice. <laughs> I mean, you just see how ugly the weather is. It's 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 just not like the sky is black. It was like that the entire time. Like, let me show you me and Harley, dude. We were struggling out there. Um, this was some photos that I took, but this was early in the morning. I feel you. I feel you. It's all good, bro. This is about 5, 5, 10 in the morning, and it just continued. You see me and Harley were soaked at this point. The, our shirts are sticking to our stomachs. Um, it's still raining right here, folks. And the crowd was still lining up to see this Houston Texans team. Let's see, do I have any clips today? Oh, this is Stephon Diggs. No, not Stephon Diggs. That's the other one. This was Peachy doing his safety work. His uh, nickel work, slot cornerback work. That's enough of mine. We're going to go ahead and go to Cody Stutes. Shout out to my guy Stutes. A fantastic job covering this team. Um, go to his profile at Cody underscore Stutes to see the interviews that he does. Um this is where he tweeted over Jonathan Alexander. Officials ruled this one a catch from Nova Brown, and I think it's the right call. Oh. Is both feet in bounds? <gasps> Did he catch that? That's a catch, ladies and gentlemen. That's a touchdown. <laughs> oh. 
dude. NFL refs, when they're on, they're on. This Houston Texans wide receiving core is deep. You see here, John Manchin was cooking in one-on-one -on -one drills. Um, Derek Stingley pass break up here. We got Lasseter versus Collins. This was that interception I was talking about. That's 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 like twice where a Houston Texans defensive back house has out wrestled a Houston Texans wide receiver. Yesterday it was Stephon Diggs and Tank Down. Today it was Lasseter and Nico Collins. I love it. We got Stephon Diggs one on one against Derek Stingley. Look, these two go at it consistently at practice, man. I love that. Well, yeah, that's ESPN. QBs to tight ends and wide receivers in the rain. You see it, guys. It was bad. It was bad out there. Guys, it was day seven of Houston Texans training camp, and I'll say this. Even though the weather was absolutely horrible today, it was a great time. It really was. The Houston Texans, they could have easily canceled practice. The rain was that bad. However, a lot of people would have been mad, and I would have had to say, hey, I, I understand, but we got to protect the guys who we pay millions of dollars a week to. To win us football games, we need them healthy. We need them safe. The Houston Texans, shout out to you for putting on a show for us. Um, I can't wait for this season. I really can't, man. It it feels different. It really does. For more Houston Texans content, you guys know what to do. Feel free to follow me for more.